yeah, my name is Jim Grant. Uh, my family and I have been coming here oh, since 2008. Um, and uh, currently I've, uh, I'm a volunteer at the Lansing Rescue Mission uh, where I've been since right around that same time frame, about 2008, 2009, um, serving lunches uh, initially and serving breakfast now on a weekly or monthly basis. Uh, numbers have evolved over the years, um, but uh, there's a lot of need here currently. So we're anywhere from 90 to 100 men uh, during uh, any one sitting. Uh, we come in, we, uh, we set up, we prepare the space uh, for the men um, who are still upstairs sleeping usually when, when we arrive. Um, we get the, the food set out, uh, we make sure that all the utensils and um, hot beverages are available for them, cold beverages uh, when, they, uh, when they have that inventory and then um, uh, they come through a cafeteria style line. So we meet and greet them um, and serve them their breakfast. A coworker of mine invited me to join him um, and he had been volunteering for a while. And uh, I'll be honest, I was a little reluctant at first. I'd spent a lot of time donating financially to organizations like this um, and kind of wondered why should I physically show up and, and help and after the first time that I joined them, uh, I was hooked. You just, you walk away with a very different um, feeling, uh, uh, emotion, connectivity, gratitude. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it just feels like uh, alignment with the Holy Spirit. And it was so rewarding that I couldn't stop going back. The Fridays after Thanksgiving, when my kids were young, um, they would always join me. And uh, you can imagine that um, these are men in, in challenging situations, a lot of hardened hearts. Um, there were days that felt pretty spiritually dead there. Um, and these uh, uh, large, sometimes uh, intimidating looking men would see these young children there helping them and, and um, would just melt like all of all of the um, walls they built around them would uh, would just move away and they would be super kind and super gracious and very responsive to my children and and that's one example I think of just seeing the spirit touch them that I loved um, uh, another is just the reaction of some of these men who um, I get a chance to call them sir I don't know that they get called sir very frequently and and they go from kind of head and eyes down to almost a startled reaction and, and you have a little bit of connectivity there or, or to say thank you to them um, uh, or to have a quick conversation with them on the way out or when they thank me it's just these little things where you start to realize you're, you're having an impact on lives where um, they, they, they haven't been um, mentored well necessarily they haven't been um, uh, they, they don't have a spiritual journey that they're on and, and just to see that little light pop up in them is, is really the reward that I get out of all of this. The, the energy, the joy that comes out of serving in person is infinitely different than uh, just writing a check and serving financially, um, uh, which is even different than just not serving at all. Don't hold back. Uh, maybe look for a friend, so, you know, someone that can make it a little bit more comfortable. Uh, to, to do it, to take that first step, um, I can almost promise and guarantee you, you'll, you'll take the next step on your own.